It's Pink Poodle 2 here and Maisie the Pink Poodle and this is the time of month where we um, have our one of our alternative boxes which is um, Enchant, but no, it is Enchant, so what am I talking about? It is, do so you know what, so I've been batch recording, it's Freya's Cauldron. And Freya's Cauldron is run by a lovely lady called Freya, which called Freya and her husband, and I really like it. I've been getting it now for almost a year, a year in December, I think. Excuse me, I think it's a year in December, and I love it. It's that and which casket are my um, two witch boxes I get a month, and also get um, a cult box, which is my alternative box. But yeah, so I love this because I like some of the stuff you get in it. I've never been disappointed with this, and I just am not going to be disappointed again. So it comes in a box like this, but it's in a, a grey um, bag, uh, out of bag. And I think this is the right box. Is it the right box? Yeah. And it comes like that. A little sticker that says Fry's Cauldron. So you don't know it's Fry's Cauldron unless you look at the thing on the thing. It doesn't particularly say it's like Fry's Cauldron. So if you're not sure about people's reaction to um, this sort of thing, then they can't react because they can't see it. So put that down here. Hopefully it doesn't hurt. I open it up. And we have the little cheek seat, which is here, and it says. It's the Fray's Cauldron Moon Witch description box, October 2023. So, and I haven't got the right glasses on, you're right. Thank you for pointing that out. I was waiting for you to tell me that. I've closed the door because Paul's been quite loud. So, we don't want him that loud, do we? Right, so now I can see. So, on top, you generally have that little um, thing there and then you have a book of shadows and in here are all things for putting in your book of shadows so we've got um protection magic we'll be talking about that so you've got something you can put in there and it just tells you all different things about that which i'm not going to call that then it says like um it says many of you know already um as we've included into this August box but as a reminder to you subscribers again we are working with Celtic Moon in the Moon Witch box this is a set of 13 um, November box will contain the last of the set of collectible wooden boards oh okay next month then um, I think I've got them all as well you we all know a few of you have joined us but oh you can then they're going to be you're going to be able to buy them off. if you need them you can buy them off the site so that's good to know if you're missing i'm sure i've got them all actually but if i haven't i will definitely um, make a point of doing so you can you can get that so that's cool and then you've got all about the cosmic correspondence when the new moon is and they talk about that it's a read moon and talks about Reed is the penultimate plant of the Celtic tree calendar. It is also important to note that the reed is most most probably isn't the plant of Celts associated with this moon. It was more likely to be a broom or a fern. During the reed moon, the Celtic fire festival of Samhain um, occurs, Halloween, but it's called Samhain. Right, for Celts and witches alike, Samhain marks the end of the year. So, and then it's it's the beginning of the Holy Holy King and all that. And then um, we've got here, um, and it talks about that. And then it talks about some other bits and pieces about your ancestors. The reed symbol, what it is, air, autumn, Scorpio, zodiac, black, feldspar, feldspar, and that is that will be in there. And rosemary, and what rosemary does. So they're all for that. Book of shadows. And I think this is vegan and cruelty free as well. 
I always keep forgetting to say that about my boxes. I don't think I'll get anything in it for it free actually. But now, and then we have a lovely artwork, and this is Salwin, and it's got pumpkins, sunflowers because I still want to represent the sun. And then we've got a bat, one of my favourite things. Um, rest in peace, a cauldron, a mirror because of um, scrying, um, crystals, the moon, the. I think that's a symbol for something where I've seen that. I don't know, I can't remember what that is. It's in there, so but look, so that's that. We also get our November moon calendar, and it is a beaver moon, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's a beaver moon. So there's that. So let's get into the nitty gritty parts now. So I'll give you a sneak peek. Just a sneak peek. Right. So first of all, I'm going to put this out first because why not? This is a lovely velvet and it's lovely velvet touch. It's from Hobby Craft. It's a plush pumpkin. So that's really nice. Put that on your arm. Come selling. I've been because I haven't been well. I haven't done another one and I feel so bad. I just. I don't really have to do anything. Um, that's why today I feel a little bit better and I'm thinking, well, I might as well do some video in and get this out of the way because I had all these store up and it's been really bothering me. So we've got in the apothecary some rosemary and this is good for cleansing. I like the smell of rosemary. It's also good with your meat and lamb and that, but it's um, a good... Um, cleansing herb if you want to cleanse something down you can use it with water then we've got this we've got protection magic and it's in a little tin and it's got everything you want for protection it's got a little symbol it's got some coffin nails some uh, what's this adventuring crystals chips some black salt, some candle dressing, and some brimstone powder. What does it smell like then? I don't know what it smells like. I don't know. It might smell sulfury, I suppose. I don't know. Might do, I'm not sure. Yeah, it smells sulfury. I thought so. It's kind of a sulfury smell. So, how on brimstone? So that is our little protection kit. It's really cute in a little tin. Reminds me of my granddad with his tobacco. Yeah. Then we've got this, which is, uh, uh, what is this? This is a beautiful big chunk of raw crystal, can you see? It's not been polished or anything. It's really rough around the edges and that. And this is, what do they call this? Du -du 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 Black Field Spa Rough Chunk. It says it's got sharp edges that it has as well. I wonder if it cut anything. I don't know, because I've been watching the man that keeps on getting the um, obsidian and making things out of it. But um, yeah, it's got sharp edges around there. So there's that. Then we've got this, which is a sage smudge stick. I made my own stage ones actually. I must actually. So. This is it now. So there's that. So we've got them. Then we've got in this little package here. And that's the um, one I was telling you about. It says blessings for sowing. It's got the little. Is that a rune or something? Is that what it is? Let me see. Just find out what it is. No, it's just a um, altar decoration. Okay, then we've got the 
candles, spell candles. So we've got white, black, purple, red, and blue. I always get spell candles every month. Then we've got this, which is a lovely little purple velvet. This would be nice to keep tarot cards in. You've got the smaller ones afterwards. And I have these up everywhere. I put these on it. It's some wishy spells to ward away negative energy. I um, will probably put these in our bedroom. I think I don't know, I've got them in here, but I don't think I have any in here, so I might put them in here. So, I've got which, which bells as you walk in, on the fairy room, everywhere, because I like to um, make sure there's no negative energy. Right, and then we've got a connecting with the ancestors ritual kit, and in here we have. We've got what you do, which I'm not reading out. We've got a white candle. We've got an incense cone. And some salt. And that's all we need. What does it say we need? We've got white candle and altar salt, ancestral incense cone. From around the home, you need a fireproof dish or cauldron. You need a pen and paper, water, small bowl, and it tells you what to do. That'd be nice if you know, to reconnect with the ancestors again. I'll do that on so on because it's in the bowl is the thing to um, that. And then we've got the reed moon her elf. Oh, I can't even say Moon Herb Herb Blend. Let's see if it smells like probably smells like every other one. Um I don't know, I can't when they're all mixed up I can't tell which is what. Yeah, it's got mint in it that one. It's got a bit of roses as well, I think. The roses is it? Rose? Yeah. Yeah, it's got mint, rosemary, rose, I smell that. So it's that. And then we have a whole section on sowing and what it is and what it, what it means. It's the 31st to the November the 1st, known as Halloween, Ancestors Night, Feast of the Death, All Halloween, Hall Hallow Mass, which is New Year. Cauldron is a symbol, jack-o'-lantern, mask, bonfire, skulls. Orange, black, gold, brown um, is the colours. And then you decorate your home and altar with pictures of your loved ones, pumpkins, oak leaves, apples, skulls, masks, sage and nuts. Burn as incense, nutmeg, mint and sage, spell work. Salwin, usually pronounced Salwin, is one of the four greater sabbats of the others being in bulk, Beltane and Namas. It's a cross a quarter day situated between the autumn equinox and the winter solstice. It is the third and final harvest festival and the final chance to dry herbs for winter storage. So it also marks the end of the grazing season and in graduates winter. At this time cattle are brought from the fields, surplus cattle are slaughtered to contribute to the feast and to store for winter months and offerings. The 31st of October is the night when the veil between the worlds, that's what I was saying, when it is said to be at its thinnest, allowing the dead to walk among the living. On this night, the fairy folk are said to roam, causing mischief to travellers and anyone who ventures outdoors. For some pagans and Wiccans, Samhain is the witch's new year and celebrations of the dead as it as it's for the Celts, Egyptians, ancient Mexicans, a time to honour our ancestors and remember loved ones. Yeah, I have my mum's picture out on that on the altar. 
For the early ancestors, there were two parts of the year, the dark and the light, and the cold and the warm sides. Samhain marks the cold side, and the side of winter where Beltane marks the light, the warmth of the summer. So that's a little bit more about it. Um, you can you drink of the season is wassail, I don't know what that is, wine, mead, fruit juices and herbal teas, root vegetables, apples, pumpkins, soul cakes, brown back, soups, chicken, fish and stews, yeah, make a sugar skull, um, and it says for your um, soul cakes, oh I might make them. That sounds interesting. And this is the, la uh, the penultimate um, wooden thing they were talking about. And this is the reed moon. So, in our Friars Cauldron this month, we got the reed moon thing. A pamphlet about sowing. We got the herbs, which is awesome. Might be easier. Right, so we've got the herbs, we've got the pamphlet about sowing, we've got the wooden plot, we got the smudge stick, we've got the connected to the ancestors ritual, we've got some witches bells, we got a altar, thing for your altar, so sowing on it, we've got a pumpkin. We've got a nice bit of, what is it called again? Field Spa Rough Chunk. I've never heard of it, I'll put it up. We've got a Protection Magic tin. We've got our candles, which I'm not sure if I can hold. Yeah. We've got a Moon Slip. We've got a Samhain. Sorry, so we in um, what do you call them things like that? Picture card thing and a book of shadows, and that is the month of October. Oh, plus the rosemary. So, this is all of October's Freya's Cauldron. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Oh, put me back in the box. Let's put it all the way. <laughs> put everything away. And um, yeah, so that was Fra that was our um, Fra's Cauldron. It's a very good month this month, different stuff in it, and um, things to learn. Yeah, so thank you so much for joining us. If you did enjoy this, please give me a pause up. And if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you'd like to give us a thumbs up, that would be brilliant. If you give us a thumbs down, that's fine too. Please leave a comment, that would be lovely. And Always remember, it is what it is. Right. And it ain't what it ain't. Take care, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.